Clinical Remount of Complete Dentures While some clinicians avoid clinical remounts because they believe making interoral adjustments is faster, this video will demonstrate an expeditious remount technique that should actually reduce the amount of overall clinical chair time needed to eliminate denture complaints related to occlusal errors. Firstly, articulating paper marks are often difficult to interpret when the denture slides or twists during functional movements. Occlusal prematurities can cause displacement of the whole denture rather than creating clear, precise marking of the prematurities. When this happens, the clinician will often see a mass of unintelligible markings or numerous false markings that result from the shifted position of the prosthesis. You can sometimes feel this shift if you firmly stabilize the maxillary denture with a thumb and index finger on the canines and have the patient close in centric position. A second advantage of using a clinical remount is that the full extent of occlusal errors can be identified on remounted dentures. Patients tend to reflexively resist making movements that cause discomfort or dislodgement of their prosthesis, thereby masking the true extent of the occlusal problem. They stop moving towards interferences when things become uncomfortable, with the consequence being that the clinician is unable to identify the full extent of the occlusal problem. Thirdly, Remounting reduces the time required for the repetitive insertion and removal of dentures that is associated with interoral adjustments. It allows for better visualization of problems extraorally. For instance, unintentional contacts between maxillary and mandibular denture bases in excursions can be very destabilizing, and these are much easier to identify on an articulator. Lastly, it is often possible to adjust dentures sufficiently to minimize subsequent repeat adjustment appointments time is saved and patient satisfaction is improved. Request fabrication of a remount index and maxillary and mandibular remount casts when you send your prescription in for processing of dentures to your laboratory. Also request that the maxillary cast and denture be remounted using the index prior to return. If your laboratory follows these steps, you will only need to make a centric record to remount the mandibular denture. Make a centric record using elastomeric bite registration material, guiding the patient into centric relation position. See my video on centric records. Then, take a second record to be used as a check later. Place the maxillary denture on the maxillary remount cast attached to the articulator, making sure no debris is trapped between the denture base and the cast. Mount the mandibular remount cast and denture using the record and immobilize the cast with sticky wax and wooden sticks. If the remount casts are damp, heat the area of the plaster to dry it where you plan to attach the sticks, so that the sticky wax will adhere to the plaster. Ensure that the sticky wax is fully molded, not just softened. This will ensure that the sticks do not separate from the cast. This step of using rigid stabilization is critical because hand articulation has been shown to introduce large occlusal errors in the remount process. An alternative to sticky wax is to use a glue gun. It is quicker to apply, but it takes some time to warm up. Remove the stabilizing sticks, adjust the incisal pin to allow the denture teeth to contact, and then check the mounting with the second record that you made previously. It is critical to recheck your mounting because any adjustments you make will be an error if your mounting is incorrect. Set the condylar guidance angles to those you have previously recorded using the wax rims on the articulator, or Make a new protrusive record with the dentures. Use articulating paper to adjust the occlusion, paying particular attention to those teeth identified as problem areas using the chew test. See my chew test video. On the articulator, centric contacts should sound like a sharp, loud knocking when the centric contacts are even and not on inclines. Excursive contacts should be distributed with no bumps, jumps, and with light anterior contacts in excursions. Once you have adjusted the occlusion to your satisfaction, have the patient try the chew test again. Use of the clinical remount will often help clinicians find difficult to diagnose denture problems and reduce recurrent adjustment appointments. Use it routinely for denture deliveries and for denture troubleshooting appointments and you will find that it expedites resolution of problems and improves patient satisfaction. This is one of several videos on denture adjustment. Look for the others on my website or my YouTube channel.